Good day everyone. Today I am going to show to you how to overlay a compass ring using the Google Earth map. So let's get started. First we need to open the Google Earth Pro. Then we will try to have a day two of four and eventually we will try to have coordinates as well as look for its respective azimuth, back azimuth, distance, as well as the age elevation. elevation. Okay. So first thing that we need to do is we need to search a specific place. In my case, I want to search the University of Mindanao, Arellano Campus, Arellano Branch. So click the search bar and specific for that specific search for that specific place. Now it's navigating already. So this is the University of Mindanao and first thing that we need to do is we need to click this icon here in the upper left corner, click add place mark, then we'll have to rename that into D1 or D21. So let's, we can also change the icon in here, so in my case I want to have it like star there so i want to have that one and the one will be university of Mindanao. and of course don't try to forget to get the latitude as well as the longitude of this particular place so let's, let's just copy this data latitude and paste it here in coordinates also we will need to copy the longitude copy then paste there so also if we want to identify this specific areas here azimuth back azimuth distance and age elevation elevation particularly azimuth we need to have a day two one and two as well as coordinates one and two so to determine azimuth first we'll have a another coordinates but before that let's click this one okay and then we will add it, our compass ring click this add image here then browse if in my case I already saved the file so let's try to search compass rose image here so and then we can also reduce the opacity of this particular image by having this one for it to be more visible and clearer okay there I think it's enough then click okay and then after having that one it's already there is a compass we will add another place mark they rename it into day two, two. then I want to have this one yes this one this one is the Tagum City Historical and Cultural Center or the Museum here in Tagum City so that is my day to do and then we have let's copy the latitude and the longitude because they are the coordinates of this specific data tool as well as copy the other one the latitude we have now the latitude we have also the longitude there so after having this one we will now have the try to identify the azimuth the back azimuth the distance as well as the age elevation so to identify the azimuth of day two, one and two, we have we will click the let's save this one. Okay, we will click the ruler. Add ruler. Okay, so let's have here add ruler to identify. In our case, we will going to utilize meters as a scale of of 
measurement. So meters from datum 1, University of Mindanao, to datum 2, which is the historical and cultural center of Dagom City. So let's let's click the add ruler, then click this date a specific area here from point D12. There. Then we have the line. So our ground plan, which is actually the distance, is 351.33. 351.33 with the ground plan, which is actually our distance of the one. So 351.33 and meters. Again, we use meters as a is the distance. And then we have our azimuth, which is the heading. Heading 72.04 degrees. So we have 72.04 degrees, which is actually the azimuth. Now, to determine the age elevation, we have here, just click this one. Okay, um, let's save this one and la uh, re name, rename it into line measure one. Then click OK. After having that one, we will try to determine its age elevation, elevation by clicking this one. And we can actually see here it's in here D1 is 22 meter 22 meter meter 22 meters above sea level then how are we going to get the back as but first according to the rule we have if the azimuth of 180 less than 180 let's add 180 to that particular azimuth in our case we have 72.04 plus 180 degrees so our back azimuth from datum a two from datum one to two our back azimuth is 72.04 plus 180 degrees is equal to 252. We have back azimuth 252.04 degrees. There. So we can actually see this one 242. Point Zero two degrees. So in our azimuth seventy two point zero four degrees. Let's try to check seventy four. So it's around here. It's approximate. So basically, it's closer approximation. Then let's have the datum two. Let's try to identify the azimuth. So of course we need to have another coordinates from of datum three in order to get the azimuth of the datum two and three so let's have here i want let's add add untitled add another place mark rename to datum three or d3 then i want to choose this particular place here there okay so we have we will don't forget to copy the latitude and longitude because they are our coordinates copy then paste and another one copy this one then we will paste in our table so to determine the azimuth of datum 2 from uh to determine the azimuth of this datum 2 coordinates let's have the save this one okay add the ruler okay from d2 to d3 there 
Okay? So, our ground length, 492.35 492.35 meters, which is actually our distance. 492.35 meters. And our azimuth, which is actually our heading here, we have 303.81 degrees. That's our azimuth for this particular coordinate. 303.81 degrees. So to determine the H elevation, let's save this one into line measure number save. So, to determine the H elevation, we have here, just click this icon here. Okay, so we have 25 meter. That's the 25 meters above sea level. So, how to determine the back of Zimut of datum 2 from datum 3? We need to, according to the rule, if our azimuth is more than 180 degrees, let's subtract 180 from that particular number of degrees. So in our case, we have 303.81 degrees minus 180 is equal, is equal to 123.81 degrees. Now, we will try to determine the azimuth of datum 3 and as well as back azimuth is as an age elevation and another datum 4 so in our case let's add another place more uh, click this icon here then rename to datum 4 or d4 then we'll choose this particular place here There. So let's copy the coordinates. We have the latitude as well as the longitude. There. Then we will try to determine the azimuth of this datum 3 to 4. So, how are we going to do that one? We will add save. Okay. We will add another line measure by clicking the root here, ruler here. So click this D3 point here to D4. So our ground length, which is actually 286.41 meters, is our distance. So 286.41. 41 meters and our azimuth of this particular place is 263.44 263.44 degrees azimuth or heading so which is how can we determine the back azimuth of datum 3 from datum 4 According to the rule again, we will, if the particular azimuth is above 180, we will subtract 180. So 263.44 minus 180 degrees is 83.44 degrees. So how are we going to determine the H level? We have here by Let's save this first line measure number 3. D3 elevation, we have elevation 24 meters. Then we will click here 24 meters above sea level. And how are we going to determine the date of 4? Let's have this one. 
Okay, now we are going to determine the azimuth, back azimuth distance as well as the age elevation of these coordinates here. As well as the azimuth of datum, back azimuth of datum 3 from datum 4. Again, let's go back to our layout here. How are we going to determine the azimuth as well as the distance of those datum? By let's have here click the ruler icon let's have the ruler from the distance line measure distance from d4 to d1 d4 to d1 so we as you can see here our ground length which is actually the distance from d4 to d1 is 489 Point eighty one, four hundred eighty nine point eighty one. So let's have let's put our distance here, four hundred eighty nine point eighty one meters, and our azimuth. Again, let's refer to this table here. Our heading, which is actually our azimuth, we have one hundred thirty four point forty nine degrees. According to the compass, we have here, let's put it in our azimuth table, 134.49 degrees. 134.49 degrees. So let's save this one and let's rename it to line measure 4. Okay? Then we are going to determine the back azimuth of datum 3 from datum 4. Again, in our principle, if the azimuth is less than 180 degrees, let's add 180 degrees. So, in our case, we have 134.49 degrees plus 180 and we will come up to 314.49 degrees. So, our azimuth of datum 3 from datum 4 is 314.49 degrees and to determine the age elevation let's go again to our map here by clicking the datum 4 which is actually can be found in the right bottom corner of our desktop we have here 23 meters so let's put our data here 23 meters above C level there so these are our data here and actually in this compass overlaying the compass we can actually move it to the to data one two three and four by clicking our untitled image image overlay go to properties then by clicking this center point we can actually move it here to determine the azimuth from datum 1 to datum 2 there and we can also move the compass from datum 2 to datum 3 by having this one and this one this one to determine the azimuth as well as the back azimuth of this particular place then we have click okay and that's it we determine the different compass points the, diff the azimuth the azimuth the distance as well as the age elevation of the different coordinates as well as the datum one two and three thank you for listening